guys, let's get into a giant box of shells that I recently purchased up in the Gold Coast. It's about four hours away. See the big box here, they're all wrapped up. And then I have a couple other special ones as well to show you guys from that purchase. Let's check out what's inside the box. Uh, all right, let's check them out. First one here, I've already looked at all of them, but I just wanted to show you guys. Here we have a uh, King Helmet. These are pretty hard to get in Australia. I got quite a few of these as well, but I'll keep it a secret for you guys of what we got inside the box. So that is the first one that was on top. Uh, let's check them out. So I saw this ad on Facebook for a bunch of like really, really old shells from a giant shell collection from the 1960s for sale. So I went there and grabbed a bunch. I'm talking a bunch. This box is completely filled. Here we have a big, magnificent Volu, just like the ones I find in my videos. This box is filled with good stuff. I got an extremely good price. Not sure if I'll tell you guys the price yet. I'll have to think about that. But all of these are for my personal collection. So we've got a bunch of carries here. Yeah, we'll put the bigger ones at the front and make our way down. We've got a bunch of awesome carry shells here. And a helmet, actually. So I'll see if I can name all of them for you. We have a uh, map cowrie. This looks like a um, very, very sub-adult uh, humpback cowrie. Not sure on that one. This one is actually a giant cherry cowrie. You can see its purple teeth. That one's fantastic. Just needs a little bleach bath. And we have a little helmet here. Cassius Cornuta, I believe. And that's a sort of tiger, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it actually does have its information in there. I'll have to take that out one day. But let's check out what else is in this box. Here we have, it feels like some more carries. Yep, we have a little tiger carry there. Just barely sub adult again. What's this one? We actually have all tiger carries here. Check that one out. Beautiful white one. I really like that one. And then a really strange colored, uh, sort of a freak one. Tiger carry again, Cypre Tigress is its proper name. Here we have, oh, this one's exciting. Check it out. We have Nautilus. Look how small that fella is. I have one that's like 240 or 220 millimeters long in the case up there. So that is cool. I'm gonna lie him down because he likes to fall over. Then we have another one, beautiful, the uh, inside is a bit dirty, that's all, it's perfectly fine other than that, just a beautiful shell right there, beautiful Nautilus, Nautilus are really hard to get now, so it's good to get them, let's check out this one, oh yeah, that's right, a big, uh, what is this again? It is a clam. It's not connected anymore, like by the meat inside. Here we have a giant tiger cowrie. This one's big. See the size of that? It's perfect condition. Really big boy. Probably not gonna have enough room on these tables, but I'll see how I go. Now, here is the biggest tiger nautilus of the day, I believe. There might be another one bigger in the box, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, there's another beautiful one. Really, really nice inside, just needs to clean up. As I said, this whole collection comes from somebody who's been collecting shells since the 1960s. Some of these have labels that date back to them. So all of these are going to be very dusty and very crubby looking, but that's okay, they just need a little clean up. Here we have some Triton shells sort of things. Like I had never seen that one before. And a couple of volutes. And another spindle. Not another spindle, that's only our first one. Is there gonna be more spindles? Maybe. What's in this one? Here we go, I thought there was another one. This is a Tiger Nautilus. I love my Nautilus. That one is also a beautiful condition. Pretty cool. So that is four Nautilus in one little box. 
Let's see what's else in this giant. Oh, let's see what else is in this giant box. Alrighty, I have one very, very special shell that has taken me a long time to get a hold of, but I'm gonna make you guys wait until the end of the video. Uh, I really don't wanna break it, so I don't wanna unbox it, then knock it on putting something else down. And I wanna get, make you guys wait to the end of the video to see what else I have purchased in this box. Here we have another little king helmet. I love these guys. I only just got my first one like five months ago. Uh, Joe, his name is. Uh, yeah, it's up there. He gifted it to me from Florida, so that's really cool. But yeah, these are really hard to get a hold of here. I'm pretty sure they they can't be found here at all in Australia. This one's cool. I think you guys are gonna really like this. It's not broken. Look at that. That is a turbo shell. Look at the operculum. That's its original operculum. Look at that. Is that giant? That's giant, dude. Look at that thing. You see that? Mega. I love it. It's operculum is spot on. I've never seen one that big. We find them all the time in the videos. Just small white ones, maybe. Maybe an inch long, nothing in that. Alrighty, this one feels real light. Not sure what it is. Oh yeah, that's right. A spondylus. Pretty cool, this one also opens up. I like that one. It's got a lot of uh, points on it, pretty cool. So, there's another one there. Alrighty, this one. I know what this is, I can tell by it, yeah. This is a spindle. One of the first spindles so far. Daisy, hello. <laughs> Very nice, I love the spindles. I love the big shells, you guys know that. Alrighty, grab another one out of the box. Here we have a little baler. Now I really like this baler because it's points on the inside, usually they stick up, but this one, they're going into itself. I thought that was really cool. So imagine what would have happened if it kept growing. I really like that one if you want to take a closer look at that. Maybe do a little quick pan around on everything that we've got so far. Comment down below which shell is your favorite. Alrighty, while I unbox this next one. <laughs> Thanks to you. Hello. Alrighty, let's check it out. This one, this is what I'm talking about. See how the points stick out on that one? Whereas on this one, it doesn't. Now I'm pretty sure they're the same shell and that's just a freak sort of thing that's happened. But yeah, comment down below. I think that's really cool. So they are the two nice balers there. I really love this one. That one is just fantastic condition. Awesome spots. Alrighty, let's check out what else is in the box. Here we have a giant vase shell. It's a bit rugged on the top, but other than that, the condition is actually really good. The color is just fantastic. As you can see, it's got a bit of wear and tear on the top there quite a lot, but the color is really nice. I've never really been interested in vase shells, but it was basically free. All right, I paid an extremely good price for what you're about to see me unbox on, on everything. Here we have another, Spindle, is this the last one? Comment down below. Do I have more? I wonder. I wonder. Yeah, this is not gonna fit on the table. <laughs> Alrighty, check this out. Here we go. Here we have another bowl, but this one's different. It's got the big tip. As you can see, not sure on its name exactly, but I have a giant one right behind me, right up there, so you guys can see it. They're pretty expensive. They're really hard to get in my opinion. I paid like 120 bucks for that one up there. So if they're in really good condition, they can be pretty expensive. Let's check out what else is in the box. So my dog. Huh? This one is pretty cool. Very hard for me to get. And I only just got my first large one, oh, maybe three days ago or something. It is a bigger horse conch, straight from Florida. Remember how old this collection is? 
what 60 years old this collection is. Check that out, that's a big one. Monster, I don't even know where to put it. Let's make some room. Maybe, not the spindle. So yeah, that's the uh, big horse conch, I really like that. Check out what we got. We got about five, six, seven more packages in here. Not boxes, like little mystery things here. Here is another helmet, King Helmet. I love the King Helmets, they're always crazy hard to get here in Australia, as I've said. And this one is beautiful condition. Check out that color on the front there. That's really nice. They're always super shiny on the mouth as well. Really cool. Awesome. I love those. So that's three so far, those King Helmets. Here, we have something I don't usually get a hold of, and that is abalone. I think that, oh, I hate that my like, fingernail is scratched <laughs> on it. Uh, I really don't like the texture of this, but it's a big boy. Uh, it definitely beats my other big boys there. That's my abalone collection there. I really don't get a hold of it very much, but it's still shiny on the back. I think it was painted at one point. The buyer uh, was like the nephew of the one that had it or something like that. So, so I said the buyer of the niece or granddaughter or something. I got it wrong. Whoever had this collection painted all their stuff. Okay, <laughs> there you go. This one, pretty cool. Take a look at it. We have some giants in here. Giant auger. Check that out. Perfect condition. Really nice. That's one. Next. She had a lot of these as well. She had a lot of stuff, like a lot of duplicates. Um, like a lot of the Nautilus. A lot of them were broken though, so I was only able to get the last four that were still okay. And like she had probably 12 of these type of augers, but I didn't really need 12 of the exact same and I'd rather other people have them and enjoy them as well. So that is mega. So is this one, this Marlin Spike. Look at that. I got a pretty big one, I thought, but this one is thick. You guys need to feel how heavy this is. This is probably, I'd say 600 grams. It is thick. Really pointy, really good condition. It did have its label, but I lost it. So it's not a big deal to me. All right, last package in here. We might be able to pull it off and uh, display all of them on the table. There is still two more very important shells that you guys need to see if you're still watching. So don't click away yet. Here's a little cone shell. No idea what it's called. Never seen it before. Thought it was cool. So I got it. We got another little semi cassis helmet, I believe this is what it is. Pretty cool. I like my helmets. And there's a couple more in here, smalls. Oh yeah, I know what's in here. The so let's start off with this little helmet here. Oh it's like a uh bonnet sort of shell, but it's in the cassis family. So I call it helmet. Didn't have it, so I got it. Next up, another cowrie shell. Didn't have it, so I got it. Really rare, I think, because I've never seen them before. Next up, we have a giant Chinese cowrie. Uh, what is it called again? Criberia. That's it. Supre Criberia, I believe it is its name. I only ever found one myself. Never seen one that big. You guys are going to like this little cowrie that I have here. This is a zigzag cowrie, or a zigzag, I believe. And look at that condition on the top. I've only ever seen ones half of that size, if that. And they are very hard to find in uh, Australia here at my spot. So that is incredible condition. Don't eat it, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> no, it I know, you missed us. <laughs> but yeah, that is just incredible condition. So. You like him, huh? Let's get on to the very special shells. You guys. Alrighty, let's check out the second last giant shell here. You ready for this? This is a 64 centimeter Syrinx Aranus spindle shell, Aussie spindle shell. My largest up there was 62 centimeters. This one is 64 centimeters long. It's in rough condition at the moment, but I really think I can clean it up really nice. So I am stoked on that. Very, very cool. 
I'm stoked on that. I can't put it anywhere on the table, but uh, let's get the next shout out for you guys. We're, all, we're also going to show you once I've finished displaying it all. So it'll be like a second for you guys, and then maybe 10 or 15 minutes for me. But let's grab up the next shell. Alrighty, this very special shell is in this box. As you can see, it says fragile all around it because it's extremely fragile and extremely rare and valuable. I have to be extremely careful about getting it out. There it is. I don't know if you guys can tell right now what it is. I have to be very careful. It's taken me a long time, three plus years to get one of these. Do you guys know what it is yet? And it's made it. It's made it the trip home. Look at that. A mega gem. Paper Nautilus. Oh, man. Look at the size of that thing. Look at that. That's just incredible to see. I haven't seen it in a few days. We've been in Toowoomba. Scary, yo. <laughs> that is very, very valuable. If we're talking money-wise, probably $250 for this shell. Check that out. Just unreal. Alrighty, guys. Let's get straight to putting them into the cases. Alrighty, it took me about half an hour to put everything into place. We moved a bunch around. Let's check it out. Uh, my new shells, we have the Golden Boy right in there. The Paper Nautilus, along with my other bunches of Nautilus. Got the big Tritons up there that I moved. We moved a lot around, but I'll just show you guys the new shells now and take you for a bit of a walk around. See what you can spot. Got some of the books down there. Uh, what else? We've got more helmets up there. The King Helmets, that's the second helmet shelf. Then we have two more King Helmets there. A lot more volutes there. I've added some trays up top here to give it a bit more room. The giant spindle there, another two balers down there. Come across here, we have a lot more cowrie shells. A couple more cones, actually only one more cone. Bunch of more spindles up there. Um, the abalone, and that should be about everything. I've got my clandestines and donkey cowries in here. I still have to put them out, but it won't be that big of a deal, much of a difference. I just love that Nautilus collection there. That looks incredible. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, subscribe. See you later.